wandering in the desert and I need those Jericho walls to fall and I'm going to Jericho Road <laughs> to get them to fall in Jesus name and I'm going to come back and tell all you addicts about how Jesus can set you free because if he can do it for me he can do it for you I'm one of the worst depraved sick human beings I knew Jesus Christ I knew the truth and I still was caught in that filth. Was caught in that filth. Was caught. Yeah. Was caught. That's what it's all about. It was just getting caught. Um, there's one thing, and it was how in the world. Can you have something new with him in hiding? Well, we did it. We found it. Oh, we found it. We found his old Twitter. Archived. Because he's not using this one anymore. His blasphemous vigilant Christ. We called himself Christ. We've been saying that. September 5th, 2018. I'm done being a Christian. This was a video he did. I'm done being a Christian. We hardly say if it wasn't for the YouTube money, he would not be a Christian. That's what people around him were reporting uh, right around this time. Done being a Christian. Now, this is a link to YouTube. And it's funny because nobody saw that. So this video could not have stayed up very long because if it did, everybody would have jumped all over it. I've asked a few people if they've seen this and the answer was no. So, and then it's forever. You see what he has been bringing out. Um, now, it's very interesting to see some of these Oh, tweets, as you can see, a pattern that is still going on today, um, like this from 2017, um, April 26th, I and mean, that's three years to the day. The birds and the bees, singleness, marriage, and divorce, or remarriage, TVC Super Chat Live. Um, of course, you know, 23rd, 2017. Calling me an internet stalker, a psycho with help. Uh, prayers for cash, a TVC Mario scam, false, false accusations expose liars and debunks. Now, what's funny about this is um, we've all heard Mario talking about how he made $500,000 and it all went to uh, garbage. And, oh, come on, you are not going to stop right now. There we go. Beautiful. September 20th, 2015, what will the vigilant Christian do with all his YouTube money? Well, we know now, don't we? <laughs> Snorted it all. Snorted it all away. <laughs> oh, some of these are really really funny um this from october 22nd 2016 not gonna kiss my wife before marriage he's just gonna show pictures of his ding dong he's not gonna kiss but i'll sure get sexual jesus is the perfect the, the purpose to life amen um there's all kinds of gold evidence on here um again you see this is from the 22nd of, tw of october 2016 on the 8th of october we see him post this video and like he likes his own videos did you get drunk do drugs have sex go to the club then watch he's telling on himself and we've seen this this pattern of Oh, I fell short. I'm not going to do it again. 
Oh, I fell short again. I'm not going to do it again. This time I really mean it. No. No. There's no evidence, and he's still high. Still high. Calls himself a prophet. Now, I found this from November 8, 2016. Um, Trump loses because the elections are rigged. Prediction. So, pre-exposed. Yeah. What's that about, um, you know, prophets that speak out of their own mouth? If they predict something like this and it doesn't come true, then God didn't send them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoopsie. Went the wrong way. Well, that's probably the only one I captured in the pra. Um, this right here from uh, September 5th, 2015. Him going after the King James Bible. Um, says that the KJV is a cult only. This is from September 2nd, 2015. Uh, we've long since rebuked him um, for not using the KJV. And this is him lashing out. And I'm still, I guess I no longer have it. Um, some of the videos where we, where he um, really lashed out his hell is eternal video. I think I may have used that. Um, we found the, um, and I'm going to bring this up. From um, April 24, 2017, uh, 2017, saying that I cannot obsess over, uh, stop obsessing over him like a creep. And this is what happened. We've seen the um, the video that Tim did, the Super Christian, where um, he played the voicemail that Mario did. I would so intellectually smoke you. I would smack you down. Right after that was released, Mario released not one but two videos completely doubling down on his anger towards the super Christian Tim. And both of them were so badly received. They did not stay up. But um, here is evidence that Mario absolutely 100% um, did try to make an example out of him even after he exposed him and yeah he tried to take it he took it down because uh, people weren't buying it um did i have this already um let's see the July 12, 2016, Bad Boys and Girls of Poison, Stay Away. These are all YouTube videos that Mario did. The next day on the 13th of 2016, God set me free from marijuana addiction. Really? Uh, really? Um, when that say? The 13th. Three days later, sobriety equals freedom. Jesus loves addicts. Be set free today in Jesus' name. This is the exact same tactic he's using since he came out of rehab. Okay, there's no difference. No change. Um, October 2nd. This is, okay, that's July, and this is October, three months later. Be sober, how to repent from sin. I encourage you to go after Jesus Christ like never before. What's this saying? He fell back into the sins. He was back doing his drugs. Even after he said, Jesus loves addicts. It's him going right back into it just three months later. Even when he did this video, he says he was five days sober. And his cult still falls for it. We see how people do this. Um, it's really interesting. You know, this is really solid evidence of Mario's phony ministry. Um, I'm becoming a pastor. Update, May 13th, 2018. And we're going to see how this, this goes back and forth every time he gets caught. Um, him going after his call, July 18, 2017. 
uh, church slash pastor spiritual abuse and not forsaking the assembly. Oh, really? You want to tell people about pastor spiritual abuse? How to help me? Okay, so so this is the very next day. All right, after he said, how to help me, I miss you. Oh, no, you should not have spiritual abuse. Come on now. Um, 518, I use trials, difficulties, pain for your benefit. Important faith family must watch with his clickbait, with his mind control towards the faith family cult. Um, and this right here, we see him having a back and forth with this Brooklyn Huff. Obviously, it's just an archive. You can't see what she said, but apparently she told him to go screw himself. Um, I, I didn't capture the first one. Maybe I should. should have. Why do you love music that glorifies evil? The Bible says we should listen to spiritual songs. And no, I don't think you worship Satan. You might not be able to comprehend the actual meaning of my videos. A true Christian doesn't tell a brother to screw himself. The Bible says you're not a Christian if you have hate for a brother. This is the mind games that he played this whole time. This is from 2016. I mean, come on now. I'm lashing out against Andre when we saw him speaking out against Mario. Show those videos of Mario doing cocaine, smoking marijuana, getting drunk. Uh, TVC Mario replies to A Entertainment, Come back to God, Andre. The Lord hates A Entertainment's abominable lies, deceit, and division. A Entertainment, Andre is not filled with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something, what Andre is doing now. He's a street preacher. He's going out there and you see these people calling security because he's speaking Jesus Christ. And he's telling people to repent. It is when I saw that a couple of weeks ago, when I found Andre's new channel, and I forget what it is, um, let me see if I can find it. Can you ask security to come outside? I really I am security. Okay. Can you prove to me that you're, you're building? I'm, I'm asking you to leave. I just want to prove it. I'm asking you to leave. I'm not going to leave. I have all the right to be here. You're not preaching the right way. Oh, yeah, I yeah, am, man. The apostles were said to go and preach. Preach to yeah. all the nations. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, you know, it's okay for a school to teach transgenderism, but a preacher can't come preach at a Montreal Canadian. That is sad. The preaching of the cross is foolish to those who perish. That's right. Nobody wants to hear it. This is public property, last I checked. Believe in him. Believe in him. That's amazing. We pray that you find Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lord. I love you, sister. I know you're pissed off. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. The mouth will confess. Whatever comes out of your mouth, that's what's in your heart. Everybody says, go Habs, go! Go Habs, go! But when the preacher shows up, oh, nobody wants to hear about Jesus. <laughs> Man, eternal life, guys, it's real. Eternal life. No. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's more than we've ever seen from Mario. More than we have ever seen. Watchman Ministries. Andre, right there. Bam! That is more than we... I, I, I have a lot... That makes me want to be a better Christian. A stronger Christian. A more bold Christian. I mean, you know how dangerous it is to go out and street preach today? In these times? Oh, that's so awesome. That is awesome. And... Mario's mad because he went against him. This is more than we've ever, ever, ever seen from Mario. And you see how much Andre has grown when Mario introduced the so-called Godly Bros in 2015. 
Ondren was honest and said that the day before was the day he got saved. So you're talking five years going from, oh, I just got saved yesterday, to this, and it's been eight years since the Vigilant Christian Channel was started, and you're still struggling with sin? Oh, come on. You're going to jail, dude. You're going to jail. You are in a false ministry. And of course, again, May 18, 2016, here we see yet another I've been living a double life, TVC confession, dealing with shame and guilt with grace. And then five days later you say, stop saying I'm a teacher, get it right, I'm a Christian YouTuber. My goodness gracious, at what point, you see the mind games. I mean, I know this was, you know, I, uh, two years apart. But he's been saying, going back and forth on whether or not, his confusion as to whether or not he's a minister. For years, and, and let's see, I'm becoming a pastor, May 13, 2018. Um... Where was this video done? Um, he's done being a pastor. Um, there we go. May 3rd. May 3rd. May 13th of 2018. And four months later, he's done being a Christian? Period? Four months. Four months. We found something else out. We found something else out. Alright. Here is the place where Mario um, was staying, where his rehab was. You see, look right here how close all this stuff is. You got right here this Cumberland Street. And you've got this Tim Hortons right here. You can walk to this Tim Hortons. In January of this year, this is from the CTV. There in Canada, tables and chairs removed from Cumberland Street, Tim Hortons, Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. All right. All tables and chairs have been removed from the Cumberland Street Tim Hortons in an effort to curb drug use and other criminal activity at the location. Again, Cumberland Street. All right? Well, it does suck. You can't come and enjoy a, a coffee in the morning, but I understand where they're coming from, to be honest. It's a customer, Mario Brisson. Are you kidding me? This guy's at rehab and he got interviewed by CTV. Are you out of your mind? Are you kidding me? I, it, I got so much screenshots. I should have organized this a little better. Um, there's one where he was talking about um, no more caffeine. And that's obviously not where I said I should have organized this a lot better than I did. Um, no, that's not it. That's not it. Mm, scariest movie ever. He's a he's a, he's another one that's that's nutty, 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 nutty. There it is right here. July 26, 2017. No more weed, alcohol, or caffeine for me. And we've seen him driving to Tim Hortons. Oh, well, you shouldn't be doing that. Come on now. He's lying to you. When he wants to be a health teacher, 
And he's going to Tim Hortons on a daily basis, which is the Canadian Starbucks. He's in rehab and gets interviewed. Now, I just think it's interesting that this area is so bad, they took the chairs out of a restaurant. Not because of the coronavirus, but to curb drug use and other criminal activity at this location. Tim Horton said it wants to provide a safe environment for guests and staff. This restaurant recently had several occurrences of inappropriate customer behavior in the dining area, some of which have been violent and have required police interventions, the, co uh, the company said in a statement. One said it wants to balance our interest in staying open as late as we can for our guests while also ensuring the safety of our team members and guests at all times. So the seating has temporarily been removed at this location as a test. Now, I knew, I knew this Ottawa mission was not serious. I emailed them about three weeks ago, told them they needed a drug test and he had relapsed. Never heard anything back. Not once. What a coinky dink. Right here, that's in walking distance. I mean, you're talking maybe a five minute walk, if that. If that. I mean, look at this. This this is a whole block right here, just the building. Okay, how big are, are Tim Hortons? A parking lot and a drive through And that's one-third of the entire, about a one-fourth of the entire walk from this is this is the size of this building, of this little coffee shop. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not that big. He can walk there in less than five minutes. And that's being generous. He just happened to be there the day the news was there. I, I don't get it. Let's, let's let this man stay in hiding. I know he's hiding right now. Let him stay hiding. And we need people to speak out against this man. We need people that donated to Mario to help us in joining a fraud case against this man. We need people. Let us know how much you gave to him, what you expected him to do with it, and how it made you feel when you found out he used it on drugs and prostitutes. The man was never a Christian to begin with. Never was a Christian to begin with. He conned a lot of people. $500,000 worth. It's time for him to suffer the consequences from that. It's time for people to get a backbone and speak up so that we can try and hopefully use the seven degrees of separation to find the one person that knows someone willing to take on this case. I've emailed. Okay, okay I don't know how much help I can be because of my anti-Masonic stance, I can't get a response. Maybe somebody knows someone well enough to overlook that. This is open and shut. When he made that video, it's open and shut. There's no consequences. There's no way he can weasel out of it. All you need to do is just let me know in the comment section. I'll take a screenshot, and if I hear anything, I'll get back with you. I'll reach back out with you. I've got a folder. It's all going in there. But you got to speak up. You gotta speak up. 
because this ends. This is over. And we're not going to let him go back to business as usual. 